Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're doing something fun, something I've never done before. We are going to do my quick out the door makeup, and that is what I have on here now. And I timed myself doing this. Now keep in mind, I'm not where I usually am doing my makeup. Typically, I'm standing at my bathroom counter. Everything is right where I know it is and I can do things a little bit quicker, but this gives you a general idea of how I got this look, which is my everyday go-to daytime glam look with some of my go-to products. This video is in collaboration with Ulta, one of my favorite places. You can go there and you can get your high-end makeup, especially now mine has like Dior, Chanel, Lancome, Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona. I mean, it is really stepping up. And then I can also go over and get my L'Oreal lipstick, my Maybelline lip liner, my Bambi mascara, all of those things too, and my Eco Tool sponge. So let's go through what I used today because in fairness, I did not want to have to edit that video because I wanted you to see the solid get ready with me along with being efficient and being able to get ready and do what I want to do fast. I do things to help myself. I remove the friction, I think is the way that the self-development people put it. So I do my hair at night, so I don't have to worry about doing my hair. I also use, where is it, this face tanner so that my face already has a little bit of color. I wake up feeling good and it's just perfect. I put a matching set outfit on that I didn't have to think about and I already use a lash growth serum. So that's gonna help me with my lashes though I love wearing false lashes. I will already have my lashes cut. I'll actually usually have a few pair in my drawer, my go-to lashes, which would be Kiss. Cannot remember the name of those lashes. I'll list them all below. Kiss Jubilee, and I have on today my Ardell Demi Wispies. They were already cut and ready to go. Okay, so first thing on a just day that I am just getting out of here and I want to like run over to Barnes and Noble or you know run to some other stores, I don't worry about primer. And I know they say not to prime is a crime, but I think when you have good skincare and you are in a hurry, I don't see that it is necessary. Not for me. It might be because I have normal to oily skin, but I just don't worry about it. I have my foundations, my go-tos. This is one of my newest, most favorite foundations. It's the new formula and it is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. Now to get my perfect shade, I do mix two colors, 340W and 350N. And I put that right on my sponge, one pump, one pump, and I do my whole face. I actually have two lighter colors that I use in the winter time, but I have loved this. I don't even feel like I need a primer. When I use this, I feel like it lasts all day and that might be part of my routine too that just helps. I don't have to do a bunch of priming, correcting, this, that, because this has enough coverage to cover everything I want to cover and look still like skin. But this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I love it. Okay, then I go straight into concealer. I've been loving this Natasha Denona the color I use is N6. Okay, and I applied my foundation with my Eco Tools sponge, and I wet these when I am washing my face so that they are wrung out and ready. Then I blend in my concealer with my original Beauty Blender. I just, for some reason, I just really still like my classic Beauty Blenders. Then I also apply my powder. This is the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder. You can use your, you know, powder of choice, but I dip the damp sponge in there and then I, you know, press it in on my hand and do under my eyes like that. 
kind of set everywhere. And then I take a big fluffy brush, it doesn't matter what kind, and I brush that away. And in doing that, you're kind of setting the rest of your makeup. But because the Lancome dries down really nicely, you don't have to worry about it. It's not like something that's gonna give you a bunch of shine or really need to be set. Okay, then I go in with a do-all brush. I already have a napkin here and I pour the MAC brush cleaner on it before I get started. That way I clean every brush as I go. First thing I do is take my Tarte Park Avenue Princess and I do my preliminary bronzing and contouring all around my cheekbones, my hairline, my jawline is very, very important. And then I use the rest down my neck. Now to give it a little bit of oomph, this is a little bit darker and a little bit more of a rosy tone or a cool tone. I use my Anastasia Rosewood. This is a goodie. It's a really nice, different, unique bronzer in my opinion. Then I use one of my go-to highlighters. This is probably one of my most used. It's the Laura Mercier Rose Glow. Same brush, grab some, put it on the tops of my cheeks. Then I go to whatever blush of the day. Today I use the Lancome Blush Subtle Meal Glossé number 217. This is one of the best everyday go-to blushes that you will have. It's one of their best sellers. It's been around, I would predict that this has been around 20 years. It is a go-to blush. I have hit pan on this blush before. It was back when I used to only have like two or three <laughs> blushes. This was my favorite. So you'll see when I put it on, I'm just like, wow, I forgot how good this is. It is a good one. So I use this. And this isn't matte. This has a little bit of something, something too. I would say kind of like a sheen, not really a sparkle. Let's see. These are just some old little hair clips that I use every day. Okay. And then I think I did my lips after that. Some of my go-tos like this is if I'm running out of the house. I know these products are not going to let me down. I know they're going to all go together and they're going to give me the look that I want. Of course, I could have added on to this and I did have one thing that I did didn't have out here that I'll add with you. But this is my Maybelline Color Sensational Totally Toffee Lip Liner. And then this is one of my go-to lipsticks now. And it is the Peach Fuzz L'Oreal Lipstick. And I've talked about this in many, many videos before. If the L'Oreal smell bothers you, you get over it. I mean, there were a couple of days I thought, I'm not gonna be able to wear this just because it was too perfumey, but now I don't even notice it. It almost brings back a good feeling like, ooh, I love this lipstick. So I love it. I've always loved L'Oreal lipsticks. Okay, for my brows, a go-to for years now. And I do go with different colors depending on how I want my brows to look. And I just kind of change my mind sometimes of whether I like dark brows on me or light brows on me. But I do very, very, very little to my brows. I have not done anything in months, but literally tweeze hairs that are like way down here. This is the Taupe Brow Definer. I find it the easiest to use. I really like that it has like this blunt tip. I just feel like it goes on better. I feel like it's easier to blend. To me, it's easier than the Brow Wiz, but maybe it's because I'm not going for as a defined look. Then you brush it right out with the brush that's on the end. Then after I do that, I go quickly over my brows with the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. Don't let that scare you. I don't think my brows look laminated at all. It's just, just enough. It's enough to keep them kind of put down and looking nice, but not over the top. I love it. This is my second one. Did I already say that I sprayed with my Professional Super Setter? I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I don't need any other setting spray. For years, I used like MAC Fix Plus and I used the Morphe setting spray. I do think if you use a loose mineral foundation, maybe this won't be enough. I think you do need a little bit more moisture if you're using a powder foundation. But if you're just doing like me and you're trying to use minimal powders, 
then this is enough. And you'll see me fan it dry. Typically, I would have, you know, put my face in front of my space heater. Okay, for eyes today, that is usually just something I just decide spur of the moment or I would say 50% of the time I'm trying a new eyeshadow or a new eyeshadow quad. I brought this out here just to show you this is a good go-to for eyes and face. It's that butter bronze contour palette, but I wanted to use this one because I just showed it to you yesterday in my video. This is the Pat McGrath Divine Bronze Luxe Quad, and this is the quad that I use today. Now, you'll see in the video, it looks like I had picked up a little bit of the brow gel because I was just going so fast. Typically, when I'm doing my makeup, I'm never uninterrupted. I've always got to stop and do something, so I think I had a little bit of the brow gel in my brush, and it picked up a little strong on one of my brows. So all I did was take my brush, wipe it off on the towel, which I would have down on my counter anyway, and then blend it in. And I think I just used two of these, two shadows. The dark is dark, but it's good. This whole quad is like really, really good. It's a go-to. I see why people like Pat McGrath. Her stuff is just good. This is one of my all-time favorite Lancome eyeliners. Art Liner is another one, but I think this one gives you a little bit more control. I have used the Art Liner for probably over 25 years. That is just something has been a go-to forever. This one is the Lancome Edole Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. And the reason I like this is because the tip is just the perfect, it's hard to describe the perfect tip. You just get that line perfectly and it has the perfect amount of resistance and then you can pull it across. You'll see me pull it across my eye and it just gives you the perfect wing. Now in the video, you'll see that it almost looked like it was dry. That is because it's brand new and I just had it sitting out here in the box laying down. Always store your pen liners like this up. Even when I kept all of my makeup in drawers, which I mostly do now, but even now I have a cup in the middle of a big bowl on my counter and I keep all of my pen liners like this because it's, it's only fair. You can't hold it against them if you've been keeping it like this. It's like any other pen that you would use to write with. Then mascaras, I have actually gone through, let me go get another one real quick that I've been enjoying again after a while, hold on. Remember I told you I had ordered the Lancome Definisils. Well, I think I liked that more when I was younger because I wasn't as into lashes and I didn't know that I liked just really thick, intense lashes. So I have gotten back into my Lancome Hypnos Drama. This is a good one. You have to like full on lashes, but it has just enough curve and it really like puts it on. I love it. I don't like to spend a lot of time on my lashes. And then this is another good one. This is the Monsieur Big Mascara. And you could just hear that come out and know that's a good one. So these are my latest kind of favorites. I've been kind of going all over the place. Of course, you know I love the L'Oreal Bambi Eye. And then this new one is really good too. And this is what I use today. It is the Benefit Fan Fest. It also has a good goopy wand. And you'll even see like in the video where I got a little bit of mascara like right there. I'm telling you, I would say about 50% of the time, I don't even worry about it. I don't even try to get it off. I like maybe later on in the car, I'll look and see it there. But I kind of like undone. That's why I told you before, I love makeup a little bit later or I really love makeup when you've worn it that day and then you touch it up to go out that night. I just think for some reason it looks better. But you know I'm weird like that. I like messy kind of undone things. I think I've already told you that I had my lashes out here and I have them already pre-cut. This Lily Lash Adhesive, I have been loving it. And I was a duo dark ride or die, and I still do love that. But that takes more time because you have to get it out, squeeze it on something, you know. This I can just put on my lashes really quick. I'll like run them against the whole wand of it and it dries clear. You'll see in the video, it looks a little iridescent and white, but it dries clear. And then I always have my lash tweezers hanging on the side of the same little cup that I keep my liners in. You just have to set yourself up for success. I get overwhelmed easily, believe me. And 
I remember like when I used to wash my hair and take a shower in the morning and then have to do my makeup and then do my hair, there were many days I would just throw my hair up in a bun and throw on yucky clothes and not want to take the time. But if you will do those things that set yourself up so it's easy, and you know, get your favorite drink out, light a candle, all of those things, make it a moment, make it personal development time. Maybe put on a podcast, I do that all the time, or I'll catch up with my text, or I'll catch up with my Voxes, or something like that. I make it a moment, I make it time for me, and it has proven to enhance my everyday. I'm more likely to get things done. I'm more likely to take Instagram photos, more likely to do a video, all of those things. More likely to maybe go talk to someone, go to the clubhouse, all of those things. If I just take this 15 minutes or less than 15 minutes. Before I forget, this is the one thing I probably would have done and I didn't have this pencil out here because I took it back to my room to sharpen it and left it out. So let me grab this mirror. And this is an all-time favorite, the Urban Decay Glide On in Smog. I also like bourbon. Smog is a little bit more, I feel like it's a little bit more golden. I don't know. I feel like it's just a perfect lower waterline color for the girl that doesn't like lower waterline color. But it just gives you a little bit, you don't even really notice it, but to me it just finishes off the eye look and I think it looks really good with blue eyes because it kind of pulls you know the contrasting tones. So that is it you guys. I hope that I could inspire you in some way. Thank you so much to Ulta for asking me to partner with them. I'm flattered as usual. I'm flattered that you would be here to watch me and it means so much. So thank you so much and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.